So hopefully you've had a chance to watch my first video, and if you have, then you've already got a working SQL database, SQL Express database set up on your machine, and you are ready to start manipulating some of the data and writing some queries. Now, normally what will happen is, uh, in a lot of lessons, you'll hear, let's start with some select from statements, etc. But what I want to introduce you to is something a little more advanced for a couple reasons. Number one is through this advanced uh, GUI that you can use to write some of these queries, you can actually see the results or the actual coding behind it when you use this query. So that will allow you to learn how some of the statements work. And number two is if you're in a position where you need to get to data now, then you don't have a lot of time to sit there and learn each individual select from where inner joins and all of the advanced stuff. You may need, you may be in a new position, you need to get to the data uh, quickly and this will help you right away. So we've got our AdventureWorks 2014 database. Again, I showed how to install not only SQL but this database in the last lesson and today we're going to start looking at using the design query editor. So what I did is I just right clicked on AdventureWorks 2014. I clicked on new query and then I right clicked in here and chose design query in editor. And what that is going to do is it's going to pull up a prompt here to add tables. And so we're going to utilize the person tables here and we're going to first choose let's see let's grab some tables that we want to utilize we're gonna grab the person person here as soon as I can find it uh, we'll grab their password and you hold the control key to select mul multiple tables here so I selected this then I held control and clicked on person so we've got person we've got password and let's see if we can grab their phone here too person phone and then I'm gonna click on add and notice what happens here it starts to create these links and what I like to do is actually just drag these over so you can see them in a more logical pattern but it automatically tells us there's some links here between these three tables business entity ID and business entity ID on this table and this table all are interlinking meaning we can join these based on this primary key here now you can manually set up a primary key if you wanted to link these databases by um, let's see maybe person type and maybe there was another field over here like modified date you see I could click and drag that wouldn't be a good link for the databases but uh, something to keep in mind that if you don't like the preset ones you can manually create your own um, so business entity ID we will go ahead and select that on one of the tables we've got password table here we've got the person table here and we've got the phone number here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab their password hash I wanna grab their first name their last name and I think that's good there and let's get their phone number so did you notice what was happening down here? This is what I was talking about earlier where it starts creating the code for you. We see now that it's doing a select and it's selecting from the person.password, business entity ID, the person password hash, the first name, the last name, the phone number, and then it's saying we're going to grab it from the person.password and then we're going to interjoin it with the person.person .person database see that's linking those two together so let's kind of show that from the beginning here so I'm gonna uncheck everything here so that you can watch now at the bottom of my screen as it writes some of the code so when we first started in fact we'll go from the very beginning and do a new query so design query and editor and we're gonna select the database again address for the person we want the person name person person password and their phone number see notice that it's already started with the select from and those are going to be your two key statements you always start with select and then you're going to have a from and then you're going to have all kinds of additional options there but it always starts with that code once I click add and I close that out now it's telling me where what it's interjoining here. It's interjoining these three databases for us. 
And as we select items that we want, so I want the business entity ID, you see it put it over here and it also added it below. Watch below, if I uncheck it, see select person.password.businessEntityID. So it's gonna select the individual columns here. And I want their password in hash format. I want the person's first name. Watch below, boom. Now it's adding their first name down here. I want their last name. And I want their phone number. So now it's written this statement for us. And so if I click OK and I click Execute, look at that. It's joined these tables together and it's given us all the information, the first name, the last name, the phone number, their password and a hash format in the business entity ID. So we've just written a pretty advanced uh, SQL statement through a GUI editor in less than a minute and that is really the power of the query editor and here's where it gets more powerful there's more that you can do here um, we can go back here and right click or what I like to do is edit and select all or you can hit control A because sometimes when you're uh, doing the mouse highlighting you can miss something uh, and then right click and do the design query and editor again and it's gonna pull back everything we already did so we don't have to rebuild it all over again you notice it pulled down the exact query it put all the table information here and now we can start doing some additional things well maybe I want to sort by the last name so I can go down here to sort type I can click I want it in ascending I want it ascending order and click OK and look at that it added this statement order by so now we have select we have the inner join joining these tables together and what they're being interjoined on and then we have our order by statement so when I click OK now I've got my order by in there it's gonna sort by last name and look at that now my last name is in alphabetical order and if I wanted to take this data and I wanted to put it in Excel I can just right click select all copy with headers so you know what you're working with and that will copy the business entity ID password hash column names etc and I can export that into Excel so very powerful tool, uh, the query editor, for getting in and starting to work with data right away. So if you were in a business environment and you needed to start uh, using the SQL Server but had no experience before in writing queries, you could use this to quickly get to some data. And then if you had more experience, export it into Excel and start playing with the data there if you had to. But there's more that we can do with this so now we've we've used inner join with multiple tables you've sorted that data let's filter it maybe the only person I want to see in here is is the, that has a last name of Abercrombie so again I'm going to control a or do edit select all and I'm gonna right click I'm gonna design query and editor and now I'm gonna go down to this last name here and I want to add a filter and this is where learning as you learn the code you can start adding in your own uh, pieces uh, to your SQL statements so that they become more and more advanced but here we're gonna do Abercrombie and notice that I have to put the word that I'm filtering by in the single quotes so I have an equals and it automatically adds that in there you can take that out in your final query um, but if you go here now, you can see that it's where person.person.lastname equals Abercrombie with the single quotes around it. That's an important part. Clicks execute, and now I just have the records where the last name is Abercrombie. So now we've also performed a filter. So we've really done um, some advanced querying here in less than a few minutes and all using the SQL Query Editor. And those would generally be lessons that you would start learning after hours of training. You may start getting to the point where you're doing inner joins and filters and things like that. Generally, uh, all the training I've seen, you start with the select from statements uh, to nauseum. Uh, it's all good, and you want to go back and learn and understand how those work, but this is to get you into action right away. Um, and one of the most important parts is that you really learn and read the code so you're watching what that query editor is doing while, while you're executing these designs because that will help you start to understand how logically these queries are built. 
I want to show you one more powerful tool that you can use here. And then we will end this lesson and we will go into some more advanced things in our lesson three. But you have the ability to create aliases, not only for these tables, but also for the individual columns below. So if I don't want this to be named person phone, I can change the column name to be something else. And I want the alias here to be um, maybe I just want it to be PW and click close. And so we're going to start seeing that person.person.phone see it as, you see this as statement, PW from now on. So now in any future queries that I code here, I can use PW below this code as the alias for this column and let's go over here and I really don't want this to be called password hash I want the alias for this to be password and code I don't know why not right and click tap so now you're gonna see that it's changed that to password and code so let's see what that actually does now so we click OK so now we've started with aliases, another more advanced technique. And look, password and code. So now that new column is called password and code, just like we had said. So we've gone over some really advanced features. We've done some, some uh, we've shown the ability to grab data, be able to manipulate it, um, be able to join tables together very fast using the query editor. I think it's a great tool that a lot of people overlook and if you're just learning SQL or even if you're not just learning SQL it's really something that you can use to save yourself a lot of time. In lesson three we'll be going through some more advanced features of SQL and uh, maybe showing you uh, what you can do after we've built some of these queries through the editor to kind of enhance these even further and make them more advanced. So I hope you've had uh, a good lesson here. Get in there and try to break something. If you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe. Until next